So how often should you be training arms? It's time to head off to the gym. Today, uh, I've got an isolated arm workout, which I haven't done one in a long time. It's gonna be hitting some volume um, and lots of different arm exercises, pretty much, as <laughs> self-explanatory. Um, yeah, started a new programming because of my back, how it's been holding up. Um, so this one, actually changing up what my kind of focus is at the moment. They're vanishing out of your mind like a ghost. The memories out loud in my head can't let you go. Say no more, the time and space around us froze. Do you mind that you and I like black and white? No, I don't need no other colors in my life. Kiss me under all these starry flashes. So arm session done. Um, felt weird, I'm just going in and just doing something so small, um, like just arms. Normally I always have very sort of compound movements like squats, um, deadlifts, bench, sort of rows. I'll say like, it's not, it's been like four years since I've done any kind of programmed isolated arm work. Not isolated arm, like isolated sessioned arm work. Um, solely working on the arms for a whole session now kind of the reason why i'm implementing it at this kind of moment in time is because my arms are small for kind of my frame they're very weak in a sort of physique body part and also for my bench my kind of weak point is my triceps and that sort of lock out from there so by isolating and putting more volume to my arm training, it's gonna bring up sort of the strength and size. I've taken a lot of volume away from sort of the upper body and lower body as well to help my back sort of recover and just work through a bit of um, move, more movement based stuff and not overloading. Um, so I'm using this, always trying to look sort of that silver lining in any kind of programming. Just tweak it and make sure it's adapted for your sort of current position. So work with what you can do at that kind of moment in time. I'm from the gym, time to get some food now. Um, I need to go shopping though, I haven't really got much. Flashing lights baby, all I hear is <laughs> So how often should you be training arms? Well, arms are such a small muscle group, especially compared to chest, back, legs. With your sort of auxiliary muscle groups, like your shoulders and your arms, calves, they all get stimulated through big compound movements anyway. So they are getting some degree of work, some degree of volume and load through these other movements. So they don't necessarily need as much kind of commitment or time in the gym to grow compared to putting volume towards your sort of presses, pulls, squats, deads, and those kind of movements. So for most people with arm training, you normally get like six to nine kind of sets per group. So obviously biceps and triceps is probably gonna be enough per week. But if it's a lagging body part, again, you can then allocate more volume towards this, taking some from maybe your legs, chest, back, or that kind of thing. So taking it away from some of your stronger points, because they're not gonna need as much volume, and putting it towards some of your weaker points. So with your training, like you're probably better off doing a kind of upper lower body spit, push pull legs, that kind of thing, opposed to doing a certain kind of dedicated day to arms because it's such a small muscle group that it doesn't require much energy. Like I'm only doing this at the moment 
obviously because of my back and because my arms are such a weak point, I want to put as much volume towards them to progress forwards.